Hi, and welcome to Tech Tuesday on the 29th floor. I'm Noah Robichon here with Mark Wilson. Right now, there is an AI who is looking at my face and recognizing me. You probably don't realize it, but Google, uh, Facebook, Apple, Stanford, all of these technology companies have been making huge breakthroughs in deep learning technology, which is essentially artificial intelligence that can do things, including recognize what is in an image. Mark, you just found out about something new that Microsoft is doing in this area. Tell us about how that works. Absolutely, so for the first time, the news is that Microsoft can identify images better than humans can. So objects and images like toilets, stop signs, you know, anything you kind of imagine, uh, Microsoft can do it at a rate just below 5% error rate. Okay, so I have a real uh, kind of problem with how this test is done because yes. it's one thing for a computer to recognize that there's a cat versus a dog in an image, but it's another thing entirely to actually recognize what's happening in that image. And for a good example of where this falls apart, Reuters has been um, running this amazing Twitter feed called interesting underscore JPEG, which actually takes pictures from the news, photographs from the news, and then has a machine try to caption the photographs. And it gets it so brutally wrong sometimes that it's actually quite hilarious. So recently there was a picture of uh, a woman basically on her knees crying and another man and woman behind her uh, kind of helping to prop her up and they had fur collars around their coats and it says a man with a backpack was looking at the cat in the air. That was literally the caption that the machine wrote for that. So I, I mean I think there's a huge gulf here between you know understanding what's in a picture and actually understanding the emotional content of a picture and what's happening. Well I, I will say a few things. First Microsoft uh, when it, the reason Microsoft was able to beat humans was because the computers are actually better at distinguishing some the really micro information, like 100 different species of dog versus just that's a dog. Um, that's something computers can do better than we can. So, so maybe that's not really deep contextual stuff, but that's highly detailed information. But you know, I think the other thing is that we shouldn't really count computer learning out. Some interesting research I saw recently, the, the researchers actually scanned the backgrounds of images um, to identify you know, the social group someone was hanging out with, like whether they were a punk or a goth. And, and that's highly contextual information that it's looking for. So finally, the machine will be able to help your parents understand what social group you belong to. Uh, we want to know what you think. Are computers as good as humans at recognizing what's Im in an image, or are they just a proxy for actually being able to sometimes get the name or face of someone in your image correct? Is it working for you? Hashtag 29th floor. We want to hear what you think. Thanks, and see you again next week.